Mr. Clive. Mr. Clive, I do blow boss rant. Hey! Oh, Mr. Clive, he's paying our salary as we are standing here. We're staying in Cosmo City. He's staying in blow boss rant. Oh, Blobos Run, this is where the turn up is happening this weekend. We're heading into our social media uh, session now. And our sensei is back. Shaka Susulu is in the house. Lovely to have you back. Let's. Are you going to Clive's turn up this of weekend? Of course, aren't we all? <laughs> poor Clive. Poor Clive indeed. And poor uh, um, uh, Rusted Realty Estate Agents mm. who actually are selling in that area. In Some Blobos of, Run. In Blobos Run. Some of the funniest tweets have been around how the price of uh, property has just been devalued in Blobos right but 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 let's get to the core of the of the of the issue uh, Shaka and I know that South Africa has just like you know totally embraced uh, the the official individual but Clive also needs some sympathy <laughs> I don't know because Clive uh, went on Twitter to clear the record. Yes. And at some stage he apologized and yes. said, I'm sorry. But then he said, hey, guys, you guys are giving me a bad rap. You know, I mean, uh, she really was rude. And, you know, as much as I've apologized, I wasn't the only, you know, the only yes. person here that's, that's in the wrong. And, and I do feel like the voice of reason must prevail. Well, I think the voice of reason is, you know, we're all having fun at Clive's expense, and I don't think we're going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> well, but Clive, she, we're having a great time. Thank you very, very much. But she was quite a star. I mean, the, she just handled it she, as if it was She rehearsed. says, oh, my father never saw me on TV. Yeah. I love the media. Yeah. <laughs> but, but there's another aspect here, Shaka, and that yeah. is that there's a lot of this going on. Traffic. Yeah. Cops, yeah. people in the car next to you, mm -hmm. camera out, yeah. phone out. Yeah. You've got to be careful where you go with this. I mean, uh, people are still learning the consequences of doing this. I think Clive wanted to, you know, intimidate her and uh. possibly also, uh, I suppose, catch her out trying to solicit a bribe or something mm. of the sort. You yes, know? yeah. And I, I think she caught on to it very quickly. And, mm. and, and once he... You know, he disrespected her. Oh, it was it was game over. It was game over for him. Did it start any meaningful conversations, though? Did it raise any issues uh, in the South African context that are worth paying attention to, over and above the fact that we're yeah. having a laugh at Clive? I, I do think that the discussion of um, you know how we interact with each other, the discussion of how uh, we interact with civil servants, uh, the the mm. thing that she said, well, you know, uh, if, if you pay my salary because you're paying tax, I also pay tax. I guess I pay my own salary. Mm. Mm. I, and I think that, you know, many of us hadn't thought of it like that. We always have this view, hey, I'm the boss, I'm paying yeah. for you. Mm. You know, you're working here. Um, and I think that discussion came out. Um, I think also something interesting that came out, which is how quickly Twitter can find you. Mm. Yes. You know, a day afterwards, they had his property valuations out. They had pictures of his house. They had and found his, his wife, they found, you know, his family, they found pictures of them, they found the cop. It was incredible. It really, so the power actually of social media, mm. you know how we're always looking for like lost kids. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're able to, to find Clive and the cop within 24 hours, kids. we can find lost kids. And oh. catch a lot of criminals. In fact, I, I, I saw a, 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 a tweet that said, you know, within 24 hours, you guys found everyone. You know, tell the FBI to give us those Tupac and Biggie Smalls <laughs> files. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about uh, a city that finds itself hosting uh, the Commonwealth that nobody else seems to be interested in. A dipping. <laughs> a dipping. <laughs> huh? What's happening? Why are, we, why are we excited about this? Because is nobody is actually competing with us. This is fantastic. I saw tweets that said, oh, you know, no one realized that uh, Durban is competing against itself. Yeah. It came, one of the tweets said it came first and last in the bidding <laughs> process. <laughs> well, look, I mean, um, I, I think many different cities have their own reasons for not wanting to participate. But if it makes sense for us, then I think it's something we should be doing. You know, a lot of people, call, when they talk about this, they refer to the World Cup and they talk about the white elephants of stadiums. Most of the stadia are being used. They're not necessarily white elephants. As to... Are they generating the kind of revenue um, that, that, that we projected? Perhaps not. Mm. That may not be the real issue. What is interesting is the, uh, is the chance that South Africa becomes part of the global world fabric. Mm. So, you know, it's a place that people come to. It's, it's a place that has a lot of, uh, uh, you know. You I've know, got a word uh, for that. What's uh, that? Bum fluff. What's the Bum fluff <laughs> is just when you're hosting things and you're winning nothing. 
That's the one thing that we've become really, really good at. We don't have to, really we don't have to win anything. <laughs> no. We're, we're gracious hosts. <laughs> no, no, no. We are so no. gracious. Bounce love, bounce love. No, but look, 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 look at this. You know the World Cup. What the World Cup did, it brought the world here. It exposed the world to South Africa and South Africa to the world. You know, and, and I mean, there were people here who would have never had an opportunity to speak to a Spanish or an Italian person, and they got that opportunity. I think Can we just these win events, something in Durban? Get, that's all I'm saying. I think we we're going to win the entertainment awards. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> we've got to move on to another issue. Okay. Stellenbosch, <clears throat> because this was one that's been bubbling uh, for quite a while. Yeah. What's the latest? What's happening there? Well, Stellenbosch had, um, had a march and uh, hundreds of students came out. Even hundreds of students from, from other universities came out in a show of, of, of solidarity. Um, and on the same day that the march was being held, the uh, rector of the university and his entire management team were being uh, hauled over the coals by the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Higher Education and Training. So there's obviously a lot of focus on this particular university mm. and in general the issues at universities of transformation. Well, that brings us to the end of the show. Oh, we're at the end of the we show. We're at the end of the show. I was going to say, we must stop calling. No, it. but we missed something. The camera missed something. I want that Deben dive that you were doing just now. I'll do it with you if you do it properly. Was it Deben? Let's see. Let's do it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> was it Deben? I think we've got, <laughs> we got, we got, we got to transform. When yeah. I was growing up, it was yeah. called Tequini. It's a green. It's oh. green. <laughs> so Look at now him. we need transformation. <laughs> we need Sir Benjamin de Urban to be removed, right. and the Commonwealth Games will be held in Tequini. Nice one, David. I like that. No, we like that. You and be uh, the leader of some transformation committee. I'm a Durban boy. He's going to be the boy. chairman of the transformation barometer launched by the BMF in Deloitte. That's where we get. I'm, we, I'm we the leave opposite it. of a coconut. <laughs> of course, Oreo. Uh, that's where we leave it for business this week. Uh, thank you so, so much for yeah. making the time to join us, and a big. Uh, thank you. I think that uh, name says arigato. Must mean goodbye in Japanese or something. Um, or it means thank you. Our social media sensei, Shaka Sisulu.